Well, if he don't want it, I'll take it, okay? There's no reason to let it go to waste. Ricky, you cannot have his vacation days, okay? Look, Roscoe, you've got too many days built up. It's PTO. You're going to get paid. All right, but you have to take some days off. I'm telling you, you can't keep working every single day like you're doing because it's illegal. You need to take off work before the labor board shows up and shuts the job down because you won't take off. No, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow. Why? I mean, I mean, why would you not want to take off of work and get paid to not be here? It makes no sense. What? What's your goal here? Well, son, if you must know, my goals are very simple. Wake up every day, enjoy life, bring a smile to someone's face, and also piss someone off throughout my day. I'm three years ahead of schedule on one of them. I'll let you decide which one that is. Okay, then. Well, since you're so far ahead, I want you to know right now, if you show up tomorrow or for the rest of the week, I'm going to physically remove you from this job site so you can go enjoy your vacation. Did that boy just... Did that boy just say physically? Oh, I think he did. I think he just said physically. I, I was thinking so, son. Let me tell you something real quick. You put your hands on me, I will beat you like an Indian drum in the middle of a summer on a full moon's night. All right? You won't know if it's me hitting you or you bouncing off the ground because you'll be blacking in and out so damn fast. I'm going to give you one chance. One chance to take back what you said. Or I'm going to give you a little bit of taste of what I'm talking about. Calm it down there, Father Time. Okay, nobody's beating anybody like a drum. I mean, I, honestly, ask yourself, do you think after all these days worked in a row that you're putting out good effort and you're getting the job done good enough? I'll tell you one thing, son. It's good enough for who it's for, okay? And it's damn sure good enough for what they're paying us. Good enough for who it's for? Are you openly trying to tell me that you're not putting out as much effort as you could originally? Not because you're tired, you're just, you're just not trying hard at all? Look, son, I'm not trying to say that I'm not working as hard as I could just because of the job that we're on. I'm also not saying that this job is six miles from my favorite Mexican restaurant and we get to leave for lunch. I'm also not saying it's only 20 miles from my house. I'm also not saying I ain't seen a QC not one time on this fucking job. I'm also not saying this ain't a prevailing wage job. We're not getting paid that much money, honestly. So we would not be working less for the amount of money that we are right now. I'm just saying that we may work harder if it was prevailing wage. Got that right, boy. Put me on a prevailing wage job, I'll be a hell of a hand for the first three days. Look, I, I don't think you're picking up what he's putting down, okay? When the gravy train is parked next to your job box and you got a first-class ticket, you go to work and you enjoy the gravy train, okay? When you have to go to work and it's up shit creek without a paddle, you don't go to work. You take off a little bit. But right now on this job, the only people out there in the world that are working less than us is Louisiana State Maintenance for the Roads, okay? They are the only people that are not fucking working harder than we are, okay? So we're just going to ride it out.